I really like my odds here. I'm giving you a little warning. I'm going downtown. Hot Route! Red 7! Red 7! Red 7! I don't even know what Red 7 means. Hot Route! This is the Rushmore Show, where it's all about your top four and nothing more. Andy, it is week three of our September. Are you ready for some football? We've had two amazing shows already. Our first episode of this month is the highest viewed ever in the history of the Rushmore Show. We cracked 600 views. So good. We had a Super Bowl rush more back in the day. We're rolling on with football. And, uh, man, I am just excited about today. A couple things. One, for uh, the very first time since, what, episode six, we're going to roll <laughs> this thing as a duo. And um, we're going to do one of our favorite things, right, Andy? We are going, to, as you can see behind us, we're going we're gonna to tackle some fictional football players yes yeah so uh like you said first time in a while it's just the one-two punch man it's just this is like throwback this is uh this is where we the bread and butter of this i don't know how many more one-two puns i can make but this is uh, this is lightning and thunder man this is what yeah, it's we're not wearing about. number 12 one two yeah 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 so uh but it's good man you know hey just like football players next man up mentality when when your guys are down, you just you just there's no excuses when it comes to the gridiron, and the, there's no excuses when it comes to the Rushmore show. We're gonna continue <laughs> on. We've got a great episode, man. I'm excited for this one, and um, yeah. So uh, you've kind of already told them what we're talking about. Yeah. But- so like, I was just thinking, you know, we we've already done movies, right? And um, if if everybody's following along with us, they're seeing our all Rushmore uh, lineup, so you can kind of see who all of our Georges are in most of those spaces. And, you know, we'll, we'll leave all the talking heads on ESPN to chat about who's the best evers. And so we wanted to talk about something that was kind of fun. And uh, we've given you our best movie. But what is our favorite character, our very favorite fictional movie or TV uh, personality that's done football? And so we're going to give our Rushmore of uh, just fictional people. I mean, that's kind of fun. It's kind of something to think about. What yeah, do you think yeah. about that? Yeah, so this... Um whole thing this whole idea and we've said this before of the Rushmore show kind of began with the football concept right or sports concept of like your Rushmore of New Orleans Saints your Rushmore of Los Angeles Lakers like whatever right I mean it it, it, all of the sports writers have this it's like an assignment they all put together right and um I mean we could we could we could chat about Tom Brady we could chat about Joe Montana we can chat about Peyton Manning Drew Brees. We can talk about all the football players, Barry Sanders, Walt, uh, Walter Payton. You know, we can talk about the running backs. We can talk about, but that's just, well, that's not us. We're not we professionals. We do things a little bit. We are professional movie watchers. Yes. I'm pr- pretty good at it. Um, and I just thought that this is a, this is another kind of concept or topic that, that kind of marries uh, the wide range of topics that we cover. Right. So we talk pop culture, but we also talk sports. Right. We talk movies and cinema, but we talk, you know, just it's just gonna be a fun time. So uh, without any further ado, let's get into our Rushmore of fictional football players. All right, Rushmore show. It is time to give you our Rushmores of fictional football players. Now, uh, Andy, I'm going to be honest. Um, I'm late to the game on this, you know, uh, we both have been super busy and, uh, man, we were, we were kind of stressed and we we're like, gosh, we got to figure out what we're doing. And I pulled up a few websites and, uh, there are a lot more characters than I wish I liked. <laughs> and so there's a lot of people. So the criteria is going to make a big deal. You see, I got some folks behind me. He's rocking the tech mobile. I'm rocking some stars. Um, yeah, it's, uh, Tell me, tell me, what were you thinking when you kind of put this thing together? I know I have a specific criteria, which really helped me. I was really beating my head about, 
gosh, I, I almost was going to take four fictional quarterbacks. I right. was going to take four. I mean, it's just really easy to do that potentially. Yeah. Um, or do I want to take a kicker? Do I want to take a kick returner? I mean, is it, is it that important if you're putting together a team? Yeah. So what was your criteria? And then let's, let's just roll into this thing, see what we can p- come up with. So here's what I thought. You're, you're in the backyard. You're playing football with your buddies. Um, you don't have 53 men to, to be on your roster, right? Oh. I'm thinking you've got four buddies, right? These guys have to play both ways, right? They have to be, they have to work as if, you know, I'm not going to be completely messed up if I'm when I switch to defense because I have four quarterbacks, right? So what I did in this is I took, in that I took two defenders and two offensive players, but I also looked at like, I feel like they could probably play both ways um, and I would be okay if I'm playing backyard football. I know it's like a weird, crazy criteria, but it's really the only thing that helped me narrow it down Uh, because much like you, you could pick four quarterbacks, you could pick four uh, wide receivers. I mean, you could just, the list is way more than you thought it was. In fact, the list is so crazy that certain ones have put out certain, you know, writers have put out fantasy drafts which we draft. thought about doing that and we might possibly still pull one of these things off but a mock draft but only using fictional characters so maybe get the really rush more fantasy league together and draft yeah. a yeah that might be fun oh speaking of fantasy leagues yeah. how'd you do this week not not so well uh neither did i we we're both went oh and two in week one how but, did that happen well i yeah there's this whole bonus point thing and i was which so i had I no idea points. it was attached and that's my fault as the commissioner but guess what only it only really affected one person and so one and one everybody else went either two and oh or oh and two yeah and so yeah, yeah so anyway um your brother your brother pulled off an extra win <laughs> couple weeks couple weeks uh left of the season so hey it's still early anyway so that was my criteria um backyard football play it both ways um, that's a great criteria that's kind of that's kind of what helped me what you're rolling with, with rosie what you what you pulling off on number four you said uh, you had rosie, a surprise here rosie might come as a surprise when i say it it won't come as a surprise but maybe it was not on it was not on a single list that i looked up and i looked up multiple lists it was nowhere on any of it and honestly as i was eating dinner tonight it came across my head and i said he's on my list he has to be there. And this is actually my only pick that is strictly from TV. My other three are going to come from cinema, from the movies, right? Um, but this one, we're going back to the early-ish 90s or so, and there was this very short-lived cartoon, okay? That was a knockoff of another iconic cartoon. And I'm talking none other than Street Sharks. My mm-hmm. Rosie, Big <laughs> slam <laughs> He is going to be my my just demolisher. This guy punishes like no other. Oh. Here's the thing. He he played football. It really wasn't a big part of the show, but if you if you've seen it before, he he has the the football pants on and he wears the cleats and he's just a massive whale shark of a of a beast, right? He's got this attack called the seismic slam where he just beats the ground and basically causes an earthquake. Can you imagine on defense having to play against this massive half man half shark? Would be crazy, right? So, big slam move. He is absolutely – so here's what's going to happen. I said they're going to play both ways, right? He is 100% on the line both ways. He doesn't have to move. <laughs> he is my nose tackle. He is my only offensive lineman, and you can't get past him. I mean, there, it just won't happen. So um, interesting fact about him, though, I looked this up, um, and I, as I looked it up, I kind of remember it from watching it. Favorite food? Cheeseburgers and milkshakes. And actually – hates pizza did you know that so there you go well right? i mean it is kind of a robbery of the ninja turtles and yeah so oh, they absolutely. had to throw the pizza in there absolutely real name is coop bolton which also if there was a guy named coop bolton that sounds like a great football name like i would love i mean i like a nick bolton he's pretty cool but <laughs> yeah. i even like michael bolton oh there you go michael bolton nice i love his music i do i'm a michael bolton fan um, but Coop Bolton, anyway, big slam move, my Rosie, my demolisher on defense, so, no line. So b- before we started, I said, yeah, I'm, I'm going to, we're, we're going to probably have some, some matches here. I feel, 
Yeah. And I, I tried to pick some of my guys intentionally not to match you. There is no way. <laughs> there's no way I would have pulled off a slam move. One. Two, um, you named Street Sharks as, I think, a Benjamin for you or back in cartoons or yeah, toys. Yeah, 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 yeah. One yeah, of them. Yeah, Maybe in yeah, both. Toys, in toys. In both. Yeah. Um, I like Street Sharks. But I liked what they ripped off a whole lot more. Like, I get it. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah totally. And, and there was this. Uh, there was a a uh, string of cartoons that uh, ran with four, and you know, uh, anthropomorphic, muscular fighting animals. So, like Street Sharks, Ninja Turtles. They had the Tiger Sharks that kind of pulled off some of that stuff. And yeah, and and that was a fun show though. The thing that I remember them, I, and I had to pull him up to figure out which one he was. And and I obviously recognized him immediately. Slamu, I thought it was going to be the killer shark. I mean, that just sounds Shamu, Slamu. I knew there was a killer shark at one time. Anyways, uh, but it wasn't. It was like the reddish guy. He, their mouths were so big. Now look, I don't want to play football against a guy like that. Oh, I don't. <laughs> it's intimidation I mean, right off the bat. Yeah, uh, like, no, no, I'm not playing football. Like I, I have, I have two guys on my team that. That are pretty intimidating. Um, Slamu's got them, probably. Slamu's yeah. probably got them. Yeah, yeah. So that was my pull it out of the uh, the pull the rabbit out the hat. Find this crazy yes. uh, off the wall one. So, That's a good kill. That's what, a good call. Nobody. Yeah, I, this is where the meme comes in, where it says <laughs> no one, and then it says Andy Slamu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so so hey, but I'm I'm the one that usually pulls that off. I'm the one that. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team. You know, this is this is your game show. Yes. All right. So, look, I'm going to jump in with my uh, my criteria. And um, look, I was beating my head about this. I mean, all these guys behind me uh, are gals because Icebox is right here. There she is. And mm -hmm. and uh, she she's amazing in Little Giants. But like all these guys could have probably made my list. A whole bunch of quarterbacks behind me. If 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 I'm looking, these are pretty much almost all of them are quarterbacks except for Old Forest and and uh, oh my guy down here, but. Um, long story short, I was sitting there thinking, okay, we've done an episode of Super Bowl movies. And, uh, well, yeah, there's my answer. There's my answer right there. Who's my top guys? Well, one of the reasons I picked those movies were those guys. And so my criteria, I'm going to pull off my favorite player from each one of my movies that I put in my top four. I like it. I like it. Good. I'm going to pull off. Right, right. That's what I'm going to do. And, um, except for one. Except for one. And if you guys watch the episode, um, uh, remember the Titans is one of mine. It was also it was also Andy's. Mm -hmm. That's based off a true story. So I'm going to I'm going to throw a wild card in there just because of the nature of the fictional. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get one guy that's kind of off my movies might be on one of your movies. I, I might be it. Yeah. Anyways, so I'm going to start <laughs> off with my Rosie. And um, one of the movies I named was Necessary Roughness. And I am going to nail out the best player and the only player worth watching when you're 14 years old and really into uh, <laughs> illustrated swimsuit. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to nail off a kicker right off the bat. And I'm coming out with Lucy Draper. Come Lucy on. Draper. Let me tell you, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. So it's my top four. Get out of my head. I had her, I had her poster. on. Look, this is the, this is the only fictional football player that I actually had her poster on my wall. I actually had right. this one on my wall. Um, but she wasn't in football pads. Um, and uh, yeah, but uh, she she uh, she was the field goal kicker. But look, in the movie, if you know the movie, it's um, it's the precursor to the replacements, basically, which you're rocking the Shane Falco jersey, uh, hanging him out there. That is a wonderful piece of clothing. But uh, it's kind of it's kind of similar to the replacements. It's a it's a. Uh, North Texas Armadillos, I believe, was a team, and they um, they all get suspended for like violations, and so they have to go and get uh, they have to have a tryout at the school, and they don't have a kicker, and uh, just one day, all of a sudden, they see a soccer ball just flying across the campus, and they're like, "Holy cow, who kicked that?" And none other than supermodel uh, Kathy Ireland, who plays Lucy Draper. Uh, is playing on the soccer team and boots the ball. The fun thing is to watch her and, and Manu Manu, who is the uh, the lineman who actually I thought about picking. Um, uh, he kind of protects her and, and and won't let her let anybody get to her. But she kicks the game winner, and it, it just is a great thing. And I think as 
kickers go in fictional movies. The only other person I might have put in was old boy from uh, from the replacements. So I went with the original because, you know, he's a little wiry. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Lucy Draper, my Rosie, um, and more so not because she was a kicker. But, anyways, as as a kid, she was my favorite. So that's how I'm starting this thing off. Necessary Roughness was on my list before, and I think it's a great movie. i got to throw that out again. has a little Sinbad in it. Got a little Scott Mm. Bakula in it. Mm -hmm. Got Straight Arrow Gennaro. A lot of these guys have passed away in the movie. I actually was just looking at it. I was like, gosh, we lost a lot of these folks, but. Yep. Solid pick, pick, man. Solid pick. Um, When we were kind of, and for those that don't know, we don't tell each other our Rushmore beforehand, but we do talk about, you know, potential picks or whatever. And uh, when you said this, I think just kind of in passing or whatever, I was like, I I think she's going to be on the list. I I, (laughs) I I have a strong feeling she's going to make your list. So, hey, cool, cool pick. Um, so when you mentioned this movie back in the football movie episode way back, I had not seen it, um, still haven't watched it completely, but I have in editing and finding scenes and stuff. I watched a lot of clips from the movie. The best clip is that karate one. Karate chop to the knee. Yeah. Forward thrust. Yeah. yeah. Oh, heck with it. 15 yards. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, (laughs) it's a good, it's, uh, it's got some good scenes. So. Cool yeah, pick. cool pick, man. All right, yeah. so there, there's my, there's my Rosie, our guest. Um, he, he's gonna, he's gonna go with no one. So we're just gonna roll that back on over to you. And mm-hmm. yeah, I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, Andy. So we are, we're gonna, we're gonna go quick today, man. We're gonna go quick. What is your uh, TJ Jazzy Jeff, man? TJ Jazzy Jeff. Uh, let me give you a little bit of this. Um, this guy. Um, He's an offensive player, so I just had your defensive one of your defensive players. Uh, I did mention I have two defenders, two offense, and then they're going to play both ways. This guy is the one that I'm skeptical about playing both ways, but I would feel okay because of my other offensive player is going to make up a lot of ground. Uh, this guy, this and I think he could hold his own, but um, let me just tell you this: here's a little bit of measurables, okay? Uh, for those that uh, you know, we want to know the the scouting combine. What is what do we got with our guy? Okay. He is uh, six foot one, so not not the tallest quarterback, but not you know yeah, whatever. Uh, a buck eighty five, one hundred eighty five pounds. He runs a forty yard dash. I don't know how they figured this out, but it probably just made up. Uh, forty yard dash of four nine eight. So he's not you know he's not stellar when it comes to the measurables, but this man is a winner. Okay, and, and sometimes sometimes look you look at Tom Brady right. It, the classic uh, scouting combine picture of him in his boxers that it just looks like they pulled a random guy off the street. This guy that I'm going to mention it, it essentially, you know, doesn't have the measurables, but goodness, can this man win? And I wore the jersey, Shane Falco, baby. You know, I had, I'm wearing it. I have to put him on there. My quarterback, oh, oh, my Falco. quarterback is Shane Falco. Okay. So, Old footsteps, right? He he went to Ohio State, played played football, throws right handed. My favorite quote, my favorite quote by far from Shane Falco is this: "In the huddle, I wish I could say something classy and inspirational, but that just wouldn't be our style." Pain heels, chicks dig scars, glory lasts forever. Goodness gracious, etch that in stone, make a statue of Falco, put him outside of the Washington Sentinels fictional stadium. <laughs> and uh, goodness, it's it's uh, it's great. You know, one surprising thing about it, I've watched that movie a lot, um, the I Will Survive scene. I mean, it's just, it's classic cinema, right? But um, there, I wore this at, at church um, this past Sunday. Uh, we had Jersey Sunday, and I decided to buy this Shane Falco jersey surprisingly a lot of people questioned who it was <laughs> like they haven't seen the replacements oh in fact, i think somebody thought i was a patriots fan and they were like oh we'll pray for you i'm like this guy's not even real like what are you talking about like this the sentinels this who's is- the falcons uh, who's the who- falcons yeah 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 so uh falco or uh as i like to call joe flacco i, I like to call him falco but uh anyway um, my quarterback, my my guy, my next one on my roster 
Uh, we're gonna get old 36 year old wily old veteran Shane Falco. The man can win football. Give me your thoughts on Shane Falco. Well, um, he had to be there. He had to be there. And <laughs> here's the shocking thing. Here's the shocking thing for me. I love Shane Falco. I love the replacements. It's a great movie. Yes. It is a it is a fun movie beginning to end. I love the dance scene. I love I just love the whole movie. The bar, the, all the scenes that have um I, I love the kicker. I mean, he's hilarious. Um, there's a lot of really good, good movies. Um, the thing about that pick is uh I think you went uh really, really strong with a linebacker or whatever on your first pick. And you're probably playing with your heart. I mean, fantasy football wise, this is what gets you in trouble. You're playing with your heart a little bit. Got it. And you might be taking maybe the fourth or fifth quarterback when 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 there's still some other ones available. Mm-hmm. Um, well, here's the thing. It's going to make more sense when you see my complete roster. Okay. Okay. You know, more. I mean, look, I look at these guys behind me. You 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 took a you took a beast now. You took a beast. He's a beast, but I think when you look at all the movies and all the QBs, you're saying you're only taking one QB. I could have took four, yeah. and he would have definitely made my four. He would have definitely made my four. But I think in my head, I'm thinking, oh, he might have, you know, geez. I'm going veteran experience, game. veteran experience. If, if it comes down to a big Wait, game. You, you missed one it. thing. You missed one thing. Okay. This is the deciding factor for me that would probably put Falco above m- most of these guys. Most of these guys. He's played by Keanu Reeves. Yes, yes. Did I need, did I need to mention that? I guess I did. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, so Keanu Reeves is is underrated. Under which is crazy. Why would he be underrated? I don't. He well, there's people that anyway. don't like him because of the Whoa. shtick he Whoa. did, like with Bill and Ted, or um, maybe. How do you not like you know, the, the Matrix? Matrix is what put him on the map. But I mean, he's such a dynamic guy. What about what about Hardball, right? You know, it's what about point movie? What about Point Break? Point. Well, there you go. There you go. See Is that why people don't like him? But you could have, you could have, you could have picked, you could have picked him in uh, Point Break as your quarterback. Yeah, I could have, but right. I'm gonna go, but but he has more experience. He's played bigger games at this. But point. But he's an extreme athlete in Point Break. Yeah, you know? I know. Yeah. So. Well, dude, look, <laughs> I knew it had to be there. The, the only shocking thing is you're not pulling another quarterback later. That's your that's your guy. That's your guy. Okay. That's him. That's him. Okay. And I love it. I love it. The, the it, it's not shocking that uh, folks don't know that um, they that reference. They um, but that is a fantastic jersey. And because of that, um, my next guy on the list, um, I was perusing the internet and I found his jersey, and I just may purchase it. You I should. just may purchase it. Um, but hey, look, I'm going to go to one of my favorite movies of all time, like all time sports movies, all time. It was on my list for the Super Bowl, uh, Rushmore, obviously, because that's my criteria. I'm going to go with my star from the program. Right. And the move. this is another movie you said you didn't see. This is another movie you said you didn't see. But um, it's the uh, uh, these guys are the the wolves. The uh, the ES, no, yeah, the ESU Wolves. That's who they are. The ESU Wolves, and they are chasing down a championship. I mentioned it in the other episode. Some of the parts were banned from this movie because it was um, leading kids to laying down in the road. There are some really crazy themes in this movie, and no other crazy theme than the guy who is just a berserker, Steve. <laughs> Latimer. Look, Steve Latimer makes this movie. If you watch this thing, he paints his face, right? Like a skull in one. And then he paints his face like a war chief, like in the, uh, like he's an Indian war chief in another, puts the helmet on and he's looking through. But the thing is, he's steroiding up. He gets in trouble for even, honestly, uh, I didn't pick the guy. He's not trying to be my pastor. He's my linebacker. I need him to be crazy and mean. <laughs> I mean, he gets in trouble for, like, trying to sexually assault a woman. Like, he's nuts, but he's having, like, roid rage and stupidity. That's what drugs do. But he gets caught. He gets caught with the steroids. And uh, the year before, he do, he wasn't even on the – he wasn't on, on the team. He was, like, special teams. 
and this is the scene of the movie. This is the scene of the movie. He gets, he goes and checks the the the, the roster. He makes team first team defense, and he's screaming and he's roid raging, and he walks outside into the parking lot and takes his head and slams it through a windshield. And the dude's just nuts. And uh, I mean, he plays with unabandoned anger and fear. And uh, uh, one of the scenes is. He actually, this is something, I, I guess they do this in the professional sports. It was new to me at 15, 16, whenever I saw this movie. But he goes to do a urine test. And someone, like, like gave their sample in a vial and hid it in the toilet uh, paper roll. And so when he went in there to hide, he took somebody else's sample out and poured it in and put it back in. Um, that's how he ended up passing him. But they ended up catching him down the road. And, yeah, he gets suspended. But. It's a big deal. Steve Latimer. Dude, there is a 55 Steve Latimer jersey for sale. I just saw it um, as I was looking. And, dude, this this thing is stellar. This okay. jersey is stellar. I, I might have to pick it up. I could have picked. I could have went with their quarterback, by the way. Yes. And I could have went with their running back. Um, both really good players. So I'm going to go with the linebacker. So that's my defense. I got a defense and a special teams. Mm-hmm. I got a defense and a special teams. Um, and I think he could probably work O line for me as well. He could. Oh, well, you ain't coming through. You ain't coming through. Yeah, he's your he's your answer to Big Slay Moo. If we're, if our teams are up against each other, this is your this is your building your roster to beat Slay Moo. Okay, and he's yeah. got it. He's he's got a shot. Um, it's hard to tell what a man shark could physically do, but you know, hey, if anyone could compete, it would be it would be Latimer. So good pick, good pick, good pick. Yeah. I well, appreciate that. So where, where are you going? We're halfway already. Gosh, we're halfway already. <laughs> That's what happens when we're down to two. Everybody's no. like, hey, make these things shorter. We just have to eliminate our friends. And I don't like that. But yeah, hey, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Where, what about uh, what about what about Link? Oh, Link. OK, so this I told you it's going to make sense a little bit later. Falco. Falco doesn't have to be my hero. OK, um, he doesn't have to be the stud athlete. In fact, he could just turn around and turn around and give it to this guy. Oh, time and. You 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 won't win, <laughs> like you just won't win. And uh, I'm talking none other than the running back from the longest yard, Earl Maggot. He oh is, Nelly, he is insane, man. Like okay, so actually somebody put together some stats in the championship game. So if you guys want to know this crazy stat line, imagine I want you to put yourself in this. You know, we're in a Rushmore fantasy football league. How many fantasy points does this get you in fantasy football? Six rushes, 134 yards. For an average of 22.3 yards per carry and a touchdown. So the dude is a stud rusher, only six rushes, you know, 22 yards. We're talking two first downs and a run. It's insane. Two receptions for 34 yards, 17 yards per catch, two kick returns for 94 yards, 47 nice. yards per return. The guy is a stud. He's crazy. Um, well, I love in the I love in the movie when he he just like he just is he's got like a motor right and and he doesn't care that he doesn't have shoes right like in the beginning like he's just he is trucking people he's spinning he's hitting the juke he's doing everything he's he's hurtling guys going crazy and then and and one of my favorite quotes uh it's not even from him but when the scouts are trying to scout him right or like when the when the guy's there the guards that's what i meant the guards are trying to scout him uh they're talking to the guy and he says He's fast. He, he's really, really fast. I mean, he's so fast. He makes fast people look not fast. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Nelly, yeah, man, he's my running back. So Falco has got his his weapon. And let me let me tell you my favorite part about this movie. Yeah, Nelly has no business playing running back. <laughs> I'm just being, I'm just throwing that out there. But this movie is so star studded. With 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 guys that aren't even actors, wrestlers, fighters. I mean, Bob Sapp is in this thing. I mean, like uh, Nelly's in it. Uh, you, Chris Rock is the coach. You know, you got all these things, and that's just the the gold that uh, Adam Sandler puts together in, in 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 generally most of his movies, especially those movies around that time. And um, Nelly is a beast, man. He, uh, Maggot, Earl Maggot. Yeah, dude, Earl he is Maggot a beast. Is my running back. I actually contemplated him. Um, but 
it, to, to, to be fair, I didn't even think he was the best football player on his own team. So, okay. um, but, but the way you're putting your roster together over yeah, there, so I'm saying that, like it, there's the way a, you're putting the roster together, the way you're putting the roster together. But um, here's the thing. I mean, I mean backyard football defense, with your criteria, that's perfect. That's perfect. Put him on defense, put him at cornerback. That dude is covering sideline to sideline. Like there's he, yeah, yeah. You're not, you're not, yeah, you're not sneaking it past him. So it would be difficult there to well, to well, right. here we go. Here we go. I got two more movies on my mountain that I mentioned, right? And uh I already told you I'm not taking uh I'm not taking anybody from uh, remember the Titans, just because of my criteria. Respectable. But now okay. I got to go. Now I got to go to the other king of Adam Sandler football movies. And I got to go Bobby Boucher, man. Mark, Bobby Boucher. Do it, do now it. look, so look, that gives me two middle linebackers on this team that are just fearless. And look, it, yeah. these two guys, um, you, it, it, I recommend – that Earl Meggett not run up the hill, that he yeah. goes out for maybe a screen pass and try and run around these guys. Because if he tries to go up the middle, um, we're shutting that, we're shutting that joker down. Makes He's gonna have to use his speed around the outside, but he but he can, but he can, because I'm sure. But old Bobby Boucher, and look, you you you, you I, I just this dude's nuts, man. He's not very big as far as players go. He's I mean, he's Adam Sandler. I mean. That's so funny to me is how Adam Sandler is such a great football player in this movie. But look, Adam Sandler, star studded. And then um, he's, you know, my Abdullah Ablagada. Hey, something wrong with his Medulla Ablagada. <laughs> you know, you know, the Henri, the Henri uh, alligator. Yeah, I mean, like, dude, there's so many key, key, um, quotes in this movie and uh many of them uh, the the ones that immediately come to my head i'm not gonna say like uh cut his <laughs> freaking head off right you know those kind of things but this movie this movie to me so adam sandler rocking uh we talked about billy madison last week and um happy gilmore this one is the trifecta for me and I absolutely just love Waterboy. And I there, I couldn't have had a list without Bush. He's the only person that was on my list while I was building it. I'm like, he's going to be there. Is he going to be one? Is he going to be two? Is he going to be four? Um, so there's the three guys and gals from my Rushmore of movies. And then I got my wild card coming in. Mm. I got my wild card coming in that's going to lead the team. Yeah. So let me just say this. Uh, great pick. I'm, I'm a little worried about your team. Because because you, you you've loaded the linebacker position, so I mean it is definitely studded there. But your only other guy, lady, is a kicker. Like what is she doing? You know, she's just sitting. Like on the how side. am I scoring? How am I scoring? Yeah. I'm looking for fumbles. That, that's I'm looking that's, for fumbles. Right. That's that's what you need to happen. So uh, you get the extra points. So I mean, I there's guess a lot of people available though. Look behind me. Look behind me. We got have a lot another of pick. You do have another pick. So I'm, I mean, but but what if I go here? What if I go here? Yeah. What are you doing at that point? Who's throwing I mean, can I the even ball? play? Who's throwing the ball? Who's I mean he, he returns? <laughs> yeah, who all right. You're, you're, all you right, need, so him, to you need him to return touchdowns. Is all we you. are to George. What you got? Okay, my George, and uh, I thought this would happen. We're gonna crush more, and I'm gonna go for Bobby Boucher. Come on, he, he's got to be your guy. So Bobby Boucher, my middle linebacker. He is. He is my. So George. Bobby against Bobby. Yeah, so Lamu against Latimer. Even, even swap right there. But the thing about Bobby has to play both ways for me. So on offense, I got him at like the fullback tight end, possibly, you know, is what I'm thinking. Um, you know, potentially on the O line, but I got Slamu at the O line. I I'm covered there. So he's gonna be my he's gonna be my tight end and my fullback. But yeah, Bobby Boucher, the water boy. So um, I mean, looking at your team, looking at your team, it's stellar. I love it. And yeah. you've got you've got two offensive dimes. You got two defensive done. You you you're able to score. You're able to protect. Um, I'm worried about my team. I am. I'm worried about my team. But uh, <laughs> you had no but, idea this was the this was the premise. It's but I mean that wasn't my criteria to go in. But looking at it, I mean we're putting them up against each other. I'm worried about my team. But look, yeah. I got the looks. I got the looks. Um, maybe I can I can woo um, Earl Meggett to to paying attention to the sidelines or something. I don't know. But I'm, I'm going to go with my George. Yeah, so here's the thing. When uh, when I was thinking about this team and kind of putting it together, this guy is the guy 
I thought right off the bat I was going to put in there. And then I put my criteria together and I was like, gosh, I got to take him off because and then it hit me. Uh, really, really remember the Titans isn't a fictional movie per se. It's based off of a true story. So I can eliminate some of those guys and I can bring him back. And so the guy that's going to lead my team, I'm going to kind of get a two for one with this one. I'm going with none other than Paul crew, man. I'm going with, uh, yeah, I told you your guy wasn't the best. Your, your guy wasn't the best player on his own team. I'm going with the other Adam Sandler. Mm-hmm. But here's the deal. I can also get him at Burt Reynolds if I really wanted to. Only problem with that Burt Reynolds one, um, he doesn't look right without the mustache to me. So right. he had to get rid of the mustache for that deal. But Paul Crew, man, quarterback. Um, he was he was the he was everything quarterback. Here he is right behind me on my head. Whoop. And uh he 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 is he was just a beast. And he ends up going into the to jail, crooked guy, gets in trouble. And, um, and and then the warden wants him to play the game. He goes off and gets guys like Nelly, gets Chris Rock to help coach, Goldberg, I mean, Bob Sapp. He's a great, great manager. And uh, mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. me, got a cannon, which I love that. And uh, I'm going with Paul Crew to lead my side of the team and uh, bring in my other favorite my other favorite Adam Sandler movie uh, in football world. So there you go. Hey, unseen uh, element that you get with this. Uh, every every player that we've talked about, we've talked about the on the field, all of that kind of stuff. With Paul Crew, you have got a heck of a recruiter. I mean, you have got the yeah. guy yeah. who is going to go out into all of the town. I'm going to call him Paul Recruit. Find... Yeah, yeah, there you go. Um, don't ever say that again. But um, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's but yeah, that's a good pick. So I going back. So to my, so now I'm thinking about okay. it though. You know, yeah. I'm thinking about who who's who's Paul throwing to. So I'm thinking I'm gonna on offense. I'm I'm moving I'm moving probably Bobby to 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 running back. That's probably what I'm doing. Right? Solid. Okay, I can see yeah, that. Yeah, and then I, I guess I'm gonna have to have uh, Kathy or, or, or Lucy go out, go out deep, you know, Kathy yeah, Ireland. She's she don't to get go hurt, deep. Man, that's the problem is that well, she's no, gonna... I'm just trying to draw the defense, just trying to draw the defense. Just follow double. me. This we got a double, we got a double. Um, yeah, yeah. um, so why two yeah. banana, why two banana? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so hey, cool, solid mountain, solid mountain. We are going to talk about our honorable mentions. Uh, we'd said that there's so many that we can't eliminate. Let's just get into it. Let's talk about Let's our go. Benjamin. Let's go. Show. We're going to do our second segment all about the Benjamins. And if you've been watching with us, been following us, please go back and check out all the previous episodes. But look, this is where we've been going. This is what we've landed for our second segment. One of our favorite things to do, because we always have other people we want to get in there or other things, places, whatever. And so today we have a lot of um, football fictional characters that we would like to name off. Now, here's the deal. Here's the rules of the game. I I, I can't name Slamu because Andy has already said him, and he can't say someone like Paul Crew or Latimer because I said them. And then as the game progresses, we're going to have eight more people, obviously two extra mountains, kind of like our second string, if you will. And, uh, hey, Andy, you had a, you had a great idea. Since it's uh, football – and we love fantasy. What 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 you got going on there? Well, you know, if you guys play fantasy football, you know how this works. If I get the first pick, I mean, that's that's kind of, you know, I'm getting the first pick, right? But we need to have some incentive for the second pick. So what we'll do is we'll have a snake draft style of our okay. Benjamin. So I'll pick first. But then Kirk gets the next two picks. Then I get the just gutsy, which is gutsy. Which I mean, you 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 won the toss for the month of September. Yes, to go first and. Yeah. Uh, and uh, gosh, I decided I, to receive. There, there's, there's a guy out there that I just know. I know that everybody's wanting, and yep. uh, you leave him out there for me. I'm taking him. You I think him that there. let's just start. So my the consensus number one pick for Benjamins. I'm gonna go with this guy who he's on my bench. Right, if I need a guy to come in, if I need you know next man up kind of mentality, uh, offensive juggernaut. Mr. Willie Beeman. Oh, oh of course you did. I had to do of it. Course I, had to you do it. Did. I, got, I got two more picks until mine. So 
almost every single, almost every single fictional mock draft top one or two. Yeah, oh yeah. Easy. But look, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. All right. So I need some offense, man. I need some offense <laughs> on my bench. You know, I need some offense, and I am. I'm coming out strong. I've already got a stud quarterback. Might might pull in another QB later. Um, I'm going to go with none other than a, another guy from another guy from the program. I'm going with Darnell Jefferson, the running back from the Timberwolves. Okay, now you've got yourself an offense that's being built, but you got the next pick now too. So you get two more. You get one more pick. I'm going to go with my next pick in this snake draft. And look, if everybody's picking Willie. Uh, as number one in most of these mock drafts and these most number one number one lists, I'm going to have to go with another offensive guy. I'm not taking a QB. I'm just not. So I'm going to go with none other than Rod Tidwell from Jerry Maguire. Nice. Okay. Okay. Solid. Yeah. Wide receiver. I need him. I need him. I need him on my back. team. So I got. I went wide receiver, running back. I mean, that's kind of key in fantasy. You know, mm -hmm. got to nail mm -hmm. out those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, now you got back to backs. Okay, so for my next one, uh, okay. I'm going to I'm going to go a, a little bit controversial here because I'm going to go for a not necessarily fictional movie. You've skirted around the issue in your mountain, uh, but my next guy, uh, D lineman, edge rusher from Remember the Titans, oh. Julius Campbell. Julius mm. Campbell, strong side, right? Like, come on, man, it, 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 you got to go for him. So he's my he's my my uh, my edge rusher. And uh, hey, you know what? I'm gonna stay in that same movie, and I'm gonna go for a big man. You ready for a big man? I'm going for Louis Lastic because listen, here's the thing. Um, not only do I need the production on the field, but that man is a locker room just fire he's amazing so uh there we go yeah that is that's my next two picks what all right all right well i mean that's a good pick Th those are two great picks um although um it kind of reminds me of the of the bleacher report uh naming kurt warner as a good pick for fictional characters but yeah i mean here it is the, we make a role this there. is, we this is where role. we're at this is where we're at got some good movies still left out there yes. you know got uh uh, some picks that I'm looking at, and look, I, I need a special teams guy. I'm doing it. I'm taking. I'm taking good old Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. You know, roll tide. Drop to me. Roll That's tide, funny. baby. Got to. You know, I got to do that. I, as you know, you don't hear me say that very often. I said it's two weeks in a row. I've got to say that for mm. you um, with Derek Henry and now Forrest Gump. But yeah, I'm gonna go with that. And then look, look, I'm gonna come back with my. By backup QB. There's a lot of guys out there. There's a lot of star power out there. Um, gosh, you took Beeman. I was thinking maybe Moxie. I'm going to go with Joe Kingman. Uh, none other than Joe Kingman from the game plan played by The mm. Rock. We are going to go for final uh, pick. Mr. Irrelevant. Mr. Irrelevant. And do it. You ready for you ready for this? Do it. Intimidation factor. My team is gonna is gonna just man. It, we're gonna we're gonna uh, bully you guys into submission. Okay, and here we go. I got the fries that'll cross your eyes. I got the shakes that'll make you quake. But I got the burgers. But I just got the burgers. I'm going for cheeseburger Eddie. It's the best <laughs> nickname of all. Come on, the man just flexing his pec muscles Dude. like crazy. Cheeseburger, Eddie. Not only that, if we're going to play a game of pickup basketball, um, I've got a stud basketball player, too, a, a forward here. So, um, yeah, he's Mr. Irrelevant. He wraps up my team with Cheeseburger Eddie. All right, man. So, man, we did some star-studded power. We've got one more episode left of uh, – are you ready for some football? We're going to discuss this fantasy football league. Me and you got to get our act together. We cannot let our fans beat us. We've got to meet each other in the championship somehow or another. You're exactly. in one division. I'm in the other. Um, and, uh, man, it's been it's been a wild ride, man. Look, I just want to throw this out there to all of the fans. Continue to just be wonderful. And if you guys want to be on the show, man, we are uh, we're we're taking applications. We've got 
We've got uh, food topics coming up. We've got fall TV topics coming up. And we're going to finish off this year with obviously Christmas and our year. Dude, our year is around the corner, Andy. Crazy. Can you imagine this is what, episode 40? Is this episode 40? 38, 38. 38. Yeah, and then if you count all of our mini episodes, which, hey, that's going to continue coming out this week. Uh, last Thursday, you guys saw our defensive players. This Thursday, we are going to release our, what, our special teams? Special teams. Our, our top and next four. Thursday, we're rolling in with the front, front office. Front office and actually bonus. I don't know yeah, if you count the bonus mascot. We got a little mascot in there, too. So Yeah, cool. man. So uh, it's, been a, it's been a fun ride. Thank you. Um, for being in the comments. Thank you for, um, you know, subbing, liking all those things, but dude, just uh, honestly, thank you for just being so nice to us and, and really being, making this community something fun that, that I look forward to. So Kirk, speaking of fans, man, like this has been totally unexpected, kind of really cool. So if you watched a couple weeks ago, we had our, um, uh, what episode was it where we talked about our, our toys? Boy figures, Nostalgia, nostalgia Month. Yeah. It was for my birthday. Yeah, yeah, August yeah. 29th, and, my birthday. We, we talked about one, like I specifically talked about the Kiss Psycho Circus action figure line. But but BJ, totally unprompted, I said I, there was there was people I was missing. Um, and let me let me get the right one here. But he, he, first of all, he sent me this, which is a different series. It's the Arena Edition Paul Stanley that comes with the guitar and like a guitar stand. Super cool. Like I didn't even hear about this one. And so I just messaged him and I said, dude, this is so cool. Like this is a different edition than the ones that I have, but I love it. I think it's really cool. So then the, like the next day, he, he finds the real one, like the right <laughs> edition. And now I have a complete set. Like, well, now you got to get a complete set of the others. I know that's my problem. Okay. So, so look, here's the deal. Here's the deal. <laughs> so it was my birthday, right? And uh, celebrating. And uh, BJ didn't want to leave me out. He was You're sending right. you something. And then he sent me something. We talked about McFar McFarlane toys, right? Yeah. We talked about that. So look at this McFarlane toy he sent me. Oh, my goodness. Because he knows I'm a wrestling fan. And me and him used to watch wrestling when we were, when we were uh, uh, living together. But he sent me the Princess Bride. Andre the Giant. Wow. Fezzik. <laughs> this thing is huge. Look how big this thing is. Now, look, <laughs> send me that. And then um, without further addition, he, he, he sent me a Superman DC multiverse, the black suit variant. These two, that, I didn't ask him for this. And, uh, man, just our fans are so cool. Look, so BJ cool. is just one of my friends from back in the day. We've got guys that uh, we're talking about getting a, a meet and greet thing to go or to maybe go see a concert or a ball yeah. game. You know, there's so many things that we are thinking. Our, our T-shirts are coming out. If you want a T-shirt, throw in the comments what size you're looking for, because the first run, I would like to put in an order of some specific sizes to make sure I have one for you. We're going to roll out um, our first shirt uh, within within the month, within the yeah. month, for real. So, that so is, it's just it's been, a, been really cool. I said, we share all that to just say Rushmore community. You guys are the best. Even if you don't send us stuff, you, you comment. You, you have fun. We we have this Rushmore fan. I'll leave. I'll, I'll leave, leave my uh, my my mailing address in the uh, comments if you want to send me anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It's, but but you guys are the best. You guys are so cool, I man. We we honestly like we would do this, but it makes it so much more fun to be able to like hang out with you guys too while we do this. So. Well, before we cut off, Andy, uh, this has been a this has been a really busy season for both of us. Oh yeah. You um you you're going back to school. And That's I just got a new cool. job, which is putting me back to school. And um, there's just a whole lot of stuff going on. And we, we've we even talked about pausing for a little bit or changing the schedule a little bit. Or so be on, be, be on the lookout in case any of those things happen. But we really want to keep pushing because you guys are so amazing. And we have right. such great momentum. Um, and, and, and it's just been a fun ride, man. Thank you so much. And um Gosh, Andy, I don't know that we can say anymore. Yeah, let's so, not get emotional here. Let's let's. Yeah, talk I mean, I'm already emotional a little bit, but hey, how do we always end this, even uh, though we don't really want to go? Yeah, yeah. So let's do it like this. This is the Rushmore Show, where it's all about your top four and nothing more. Peace. Peace.